So, um, like, so from your family's point of view, like, how was it, like, living in a newer area? Like, once you got finally settled, like, how did everyone, like, feel about this, about, like, America? Uh, we were very fortunate that, uh, our dad had a house here, so, uh, we didn't have that struggle where we needed to find a place to live and things like that. The only thing, uh, and he had a job already, so he provided it for us. Uh, I think mom, uh, did what she can and found uh, quite a bit of things to do. And then, um, to help with, you know, with some of the expenses. And she was always um, business oriented, so she was always able to find uh, work here and there, and um, eventually was able to open up her own business later on. Um, was it difficult? Like, since you had such a, you had a lot of siblings. Um, did you? Was it hard to make friends, or did you not care about making friends because you had so many brothers and sisters? Uh, my family was very close. We were all close in age, so my brothers and sisters, I remember uh, we went to one school and uh, at recess and everything, we would all just kind of look for each other because we couldn't communicate with anybody else and we would end up just hanging out together. But eventually, uh, we ended up, uh, you know, making friends easily. Uh, I think the only difficult part was being able to speak to people. Uh, and there was other kids that didn't speak English also, um, or knew how to speak both languages, so it was easy to find friends. Um, since, so you say that you didn't really speak the, in, like, the language, were you ever discriminated, or did you look past it and like overcome it? Uh, like when I was young? Yeah. I don't remember being discriminated about it. Um, and at that time, actually, I really didn't know what discrimination was really about. Uh, it wasn't something we've experienced or anything like that. Um, a lot of the... We were young. I mean, we are in elementary school, so... Uh, I don't think that was being... That was something like that. Uh, in high school... By high school, we already knew how to speak the language, so... I don't remember being discriminated, being Filipino. Uh, Daily City was actually a pretty big uh, Asian community. Uh, and everybody's pretty accepting. Um, so, how do you compare your life um, here now as if you were to live in the Philippines now? Like, how would you, what do you think you would be, like, where do you think you would be in the Philippines right now? Uh, I think I, uh, the life I've have, I have here is, I don't think I would have had in the Philippines. Uh, I, I still find it that the opportunities I've had here is much greater than I would have in the Philippines. Uh, I think, uh, like I said, if you're willing to work hard and reach for your goals, and uh, I think you could do anything here in America. Um, yeah.